Hello everyone, I am Stephen Drew from the Architecture Social and I am here today. We are picking up the podcast again and I'm lucky to be here with Nilda who is the founder of the architecture, architecture or architectural experiment. Nilda, hello. Do you want to tell me which is the correct title <laughs> and how you are today? Are you well? I'm, I'm very good. Thank you. Yeah, so it's the architectural experiment. Ooh, yeah, I like it. the architectural experiment. Yeah. I love it. Gosh, I need as you uh, as we touched upon because we had a little chat before this. Mm-hmm. I'm I when I was in industry, uh, so and when I was studying, I was the the student who didn't read all the books all the writing that I should have. I was the naughty one who didn't read the thesis, who didn't read that stuff. And then there'd be other people in the studio that would know all the clever things, and I wouldn't feel very clever. But <laughs> what? What inspired you? Do you want to tell us a little bit about what the architectural experiment is? Yeah, so the architectural experiment initially was um, just, I I realized that I would always give advice to people in my sort of cohort, Mm. even like during uni, after uni. um, And it was this idea because I've always, I'm actually quite the opposite to you, Stephen. (laughs) If 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 you asked me sort of before architecture what I would do at sort of the age of maybe uh, nine or 10, I've always loved to write. So that's sort of been Amazing. part of, yeah, that's been sort of part of my sort of creative, I guess, creative outlet. Um, and so because I love to write and I initially, the, so I had the blog idea a, a year before where it, when I was in my third year, but the opportunity came where my university were looking for a student to write just a bit about sort of the university experience of architecture on a weekly um a weekly or fortnightly basis and so I started writing there and I felt like sort of I was sort of getting out sort of what I wanted to talk about in terms of the uh, the experience of sort of studying um like studio uh, studio and classroom discussions um like like the outside world sort sort of looking for work and sort of the professional environment but I felt like I was a bit limited so once I sort of mm. finished um finished because I felt like there was a lot of things I couldn't talk about because it it was sort of under the student body so I felt like I needed to start something of my own so I ended up uh yeah so I ended up stopping the uh not stopping but I guess because the the whole logistics of it kind of didn't feel right with me so I was like let me start my own thing and I sort of started writing just based off of sort of just basic uh uh yeah I, I guess I started off with letters it was letters to okay. my. It was letters to my uh, third year self, second year self, and first year self. Okay. And yeah, it kind of sort of started from there. Yeah. I loved it. I read the one that picked my attention. I think it was the class of twenty twenty. I think you wrote a letter to them. Yes. Gosh, that, that that a poor case twenty twenty. <laughs> I mean that it, it's been a rough year for everyone. It uh, really that, has. That, yeah, that got my attention. It's quite interesting when you because I I kind of. Do you know what? It's interesting. We're, this, we're kind of rumbling who you are, but <laughs> it's true. I The architectural experiment, it's almost got a kind of a cool Banksy quality. Like, you don't really know who it is. And I didn't <laughs> know who it was. I mean, who runs this? Who runs this Instagram <laughs> account with these cool uh, cool write-ins? But I think that's that's really interesting. And and it's been an eye-opener for me because uh, and how we organically got chatting was yeah. – while the architectural social was building up, I mean, I touched upon it briefly. I kind of looked for a few uh, precedents, uh, definitely, you know, uh, Instagram accounts uh, or social yeah. influencers that um, are really, because it's really kind of important. I need, I need to keep keep with the times now. I'm 33, <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> and and it was it, it's interesting because you've always got to be aware of what's going on, and there's yeah. some people doing amazing stuff. We touch briefly about Sana at scale and her kind of uh, unrelenting drive on on um, creating really interesting content and uh, I yeah. think it's the same thing I really enjoy your content it's got it definitely got its own spin on things as well and what I enjoy is you can definitely tell you've got that passion and patience that I haven't got for <laughs> for, for reading uh, which is amazing uh, but as well as that, 
it's interesting to hear what you're talking about now with it's drawn on your own reflections and yeah. touching upon that now it's kind of a bit of a crazy time because you're you're effectively you're graduated now haven't you this is your third year so you've uh, is so that right? I, I, I graduated in 2019 so last year okay last year all right cool and are you so you're looking for are you looking for a job right now yes yes i am yeah so it's, it's been a long a long a long journey but i'm still wow. sort of pulling through you, yeah you found it tough then right oh i mean these last I, I think in your head you kind of have a time frame of oh within six months or within a year i should have a role but i think covid kind of undid some of those months Definitely, yeah. so i tried to sort of just mentally i think go back and be like okay i'm in sort of like the february march sort of area rather than sort of the april because i felt like things were unfolding a little bit for me and then covid was like no <laughs> we're gonna yeah. we're gonna close the shutters no <laughs> no one's coming it, in yeah it, it is tough i mean there definitely is some stuff out there i mean i've seen your cv in portfolio and i think it's really good um so I uh, I want a written piece about uh, now. Uh, you go. Remember we were joking earlier about my balance. We got to get some more <laughs> TVs out, Nelda. There you yeah. go. There you go. We managed to sneak the bell on. I said I wasn't going to do the bell, and I did the bell. Oh, oh I was expecting something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you're very employable, so we need to get you a job quickly. Uh, but uh, you. do you know what? As well, it's probably worth mentioning while we're on the subject is that um, and something for you to consider as well, or for people out there, because. Uh, I'm going to do one or two talks at some point about lateral or alternative careers within architecture. Cool. And uh, if you, especially if you're interested in, in writing or any of your audiences, in particular architectural journalism, yeah. I mean, you've got architectural magazines, but there's lots of media or marketing companies out there mm -hmm. which are always looking. And uh, I think a, a few of them, let me, oh gosh, I, there's, I have a friend called Alicia. She moved away from recruitment and she went into marketing and media. There's definitely, there's a few, uh, one of them that comes to mind actually is called Carol Communications. You have yeah. these amazing companies that do architectural uh, press releases for projects and as well as that the marketing for certain things. So that's always probably a really good thing for your, maybe more for your audience because I know you're quite keen to work in industry. Yeah. But, no one really t talks about that. And it's like the way I did recruitment. There's definitely always stuff to move over to. Um, yeah. And so where do you see at the moment? So you're currently looking and I'm confident you're going to find a job soon. And, and when that happens, how do you think the, have you thought about how the content of the architectural experiment may change? Um, that's a, that's a great question. Mm. I, I feel like maybe, I might be a bit more confident with the content that I do produce because I think secretly in my head, it's like, Nilda, you're sharing this advice and tips, but I mean, you haven't really got from like that validation, I think in terms of, oh, this got me maybe like a, a first, so I can give advice on a portfolio or this, you know, this advice that I'm sharing about job employment meant that I actually got a job. So that kind of, I think it may, might give me just a bit more confidence in what I produce because I think you can have that sort of, I know personally I've had sort of the imposter syndrome kind of thing where mm. who, who am I to kind of share this advice because I I didn't get a first. I got a 2-1 and that was sort of, I mean. 2 good. Yeah, I mean, but still just mentally it doesn't, Yeah, it's like, oh, I, I would have wanted a first. You know I mean? That kind of always not really being sort of, satisfied or feeling like it's maybe valid that I can talk about something because I feel like maybe the, the achievement isn't the top achievement, even though it is an achievement in itself. So yeah, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, I mean, no, you got to, don't worry. I'm going to let you into a secret. I always get imposter syndrome every now. I think it comes on like a bad bow every few months. You start getting confident, you do all your stuff. And then I'm like, I the same thing as you. I'm like, what do I know? I know nothing. What, why, what, what, what can I say all this stuff? And, and, um, now I, I start, you, I, I'm starting to feel more okay. I think imposter syndrome is a bit healthy because actually what, yeah. what is, what is you're doing is you are recalibrating and you're checking yourself, but it's not nice when it does happen because yeah. it, 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 you have to, you have to break, you have to muster that spirit. I think, um, what, what you got to remember and the same way I think about it is, Hey, uh, my 
opinion and my uh, is based upon my experience and it's based upon all the stuff I've done and every day I'm learning. It's like the whole sentence about yeah. practicing architecture. I remember I saw someone do um when it, this is when I was in my part one. Uh, mm-hmm. Sorry, when I was studying my part one in first year, and you know, half the time, yeah, I'm studying and I got my two one, but you're also having a bit of a giggle. You're 18, you know, you're playing mm-hmm. around. I remember an architect coming in and he's like, every day I'm practicing architecture. And I'm like, no way. <laughs> Once I get my part one, part two, part three, I'm done. <laughs> right. But it's true. As professionals, yeah. you're always evolving. And so in recruitment, I'm always learning. And then it's the same thing. So you've got the, the, architectural experiment i work uh, uh, on the architectural social and every day i'm changing and and the sometimes and and this is important as well things don't work because we were talking earlier about the group's function on the architectural social and and mm-hmm. how some things work something doesn't and i'm sure it's a similar thing with uh, the architectural experiment that is the name right and yeah. uh, hey actually <laughs> you've got a free reign because <laughs> it's the experiment and i think that Part of the amazing stuff about these platforms and building communities is that I was chatting with another architect the other day, and he's a fantastic BIM uh, specialist as well, and he was talking about the sense of community. And I kind of think that people do like unpolished and human, slightly raw, um, helpful and honest feedback and, and honest yeah. thoughts. And I much yeah. prefer, I prefer, that's what I liked about your stuff is that it felt real. And, uh, you know, the, we were, we're in a world crowded with designs and so forth. And yeah, I've, yeah. I think the zine is a very sexy publication and is a complete <laughs> place for it. At the same time though, we need a bit of reality of you course know? yeah i totally agree with you no no i think i think it's very sort of I th- you have to sort of navigate i think sometimes we're in a bubble when we're students and then once you come out of that bubble it's like it pops really quickly really fast and you kind of have to find your feet no I, th- I think being honest was sort of because i wish someone sort of said the same things to me when i was like because to be honest i never really grew up with anyone in sort of immediate um, in my immediate sort of surroundings that was in architecture and there were just so many things that I was like why did no one tell me this but I'm very mm-hmm. glad in terms of I've had sort of support from sort of my parents um, close friends friends who've sort of got into the workplace I mean I've, I've got very it's, it's funny that um, I think about this uh, like all my friends and sort of my uh, small circle of uh, sort of people who are in architecture as well they're all very extroverted and I'm sort of the introverted and so having that sort of complete opposite of me kind of grounds me a little bit but also I get those sort of brutally honest feedback and I feel like that kind of feeds into the work that I do end up producing so when I want sort of someone to be very honest with Mm -hmm. me I kind of uh, appreciate it a bit better because I know sort of it's coming from a place of I know maybe I don't know where you are currently but I know that sort of where you are now is not sort of uh, the space you're going to stay in. Like if you're going to continue to seek fee- feedback and seek a way to kind of move and progress, the only way is for you to kind of flip sort of the, the coin, I guess, and try to be all the other things. I think what was really, when I think about it now is that these last four or five months, I've been the most in terms of uh, like networking the most than I've ever had. And I haven't even left Good. my house which uh, when I when I think about it, it's like you wouldn't have found me outside at 6 p.m. at a talk. Like it would be very, mm. because of all sort of like commuting and all the sort of the little logistics kind of would stop me. But I guess being in front of my computer screen anyway kind of pushed me to be like, what have I got to lose? Nothing. So I might as well get involved and sort of just try to help out wherever I can. And because I I think I appreciate feedback. So where I can sort of give that honest uh, insight as a student, then I might as well, I might not be the expert as of yet, but I'm experimenting with all of this and figuring it out as I go along. So yeah, I guess that's where sort of I find my feet currently. Yeah. I love it. It's, um, it's definitely interesting. I love the point you raised there about, in in some ways, the the upside of coronavirus is it really has changed things. So so comparatively, you're talking about that you because you've been working as a student in architecture, then you will be doing a lot of stuff 
I remember as well, you're, you're on your computers, you're rendering, you're doing all this stuff. And, and yeah. yeah, you can pop into university, but it's a, it's a true point you're on. We're, you're, you're on the computers a lot. And so what I did in my job in recruitment is that I, I be speaking to people, trying to meet people in person and go into events. Yeah. And so coronavirus has really changed it and flipped it on its head. Yeah. So ironically, I've gone to more events online uh, whereas but there's a whole new audience there and i just think is, what would yeah. be really interesting is like the lessons that you're talking about now and uh i think that there'll be some really good friendships that come off this and and so where i find it really interesting um is that the connections that you make online how do they uh change the physical fabric so yeah. whether that's people that you meet now you set up architectural practices of the future or are your friends and you meet physically i think that it's it, that's definitely interesting As funnily enough on the architecture social someone messaged me that they want to play tennis with someone else on there which i thought was really <laughs> cool because uh, that was not the intention when making the architecture social but it's probably the coolest thing i've heard from it is like yeah um i went and played tennis with someone and and that's what I quite like is the connections that so for instance, you is your Instagram of the architectural uh, experiment that organically made this conversation. And that's yeah. what that's what I think is the point that I'd like you to take away or anyone listening from this is that the point is you've gone out, you could have sat at home and uh, quite easily and loaded up come dine with me on netflix I, i've watched one or two of them this weekend just passed but hey that's the weekend it was my birthday so let me be right but, uh, oh happy birthday by the way hey uh, yeah it's, uh, yeah 21 21 ooh. Uh, yeah it's um <laughs> hey tight well, do you know what? I, I, yeah, I still feel sometimes a bit like a spring chicken, but time <laughs> goes on, right? So what I mean is that I've been there where I've sat down and sometimes you need a bit of downtime. Sometimes you need a bit of time with loved ones. Yeah. Um, I enjoy um, content creation in a certain sense. And, and I think that's, as an architect, we all enjoy creating stuff, right? And yeah. what you, what I like about what you've done is that there's loads of different expressions of creating. So, I studied architecture. Now I do recruitment. I mean, it's been fun to build the architecture social, but I'm also part of people's careers. There's something nice about that. And yeah. what I'm trying to say is that there's something massively valuable about the content you provide, the audience it creates, and the participatory aspect. And yeah. I think that the people that are doing stuff and getting involved in creating stuff, like experiments like you're doing, some things success, some things work, some things done. That's kind of the point, right? Yeah. You gotta be out there. Um it'll be interesting what happens next. What do you find um what, where, where are you keen quite to take it? So currently, you have a website and Instagram. Is that how it it um, digitally the architectural experiment exists at the moment? Um, so initially, I kind of just started with because writing was sort of the thing that I was most comfortable with. So I kind of started with that. Also, do a bit of photography on the side. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, so I kind of just use those two mediums that I'm sort of most comfortable with on a mm. website. Um, and then from there, I think I was, it was, I was actually talking to Sana because she was looking at the time she was looking for the, um, for writers to help out with the, the magazine. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. It was from there. And I sort of started to see how effective the engagement was on using platforms like Instagram and seeing mm -hmm. sort of the, the graphical element of, or rather the visual element of pictures, uh, but in a way that's sort of drawn, I think really, yeah. um, I was really sort of interested in putting, you know, new, t uh, testing new skills out with graphics because it wasn't something I was too familiar with and I had a lot of fun with it. And so I think I'm going to try to sort of continue using Instagram to not only sort of practice my skill, but I guess just keep the conversation going on social media because i think that's where everyone's at at the moment and it's uh, i mean I, i'm a visual person so i mean I, I i thoroughly enjoy when someone has a really nice drawing um but uh, i mean a really nice drawing in the sense where it's not there's not like a particular sort of uh particular mm. uh, frame or like i feel like because you can be bombarded with sort of people showing really fancy drawings where uh, of their projects but i feel like that's not it can be the place for 
that, but I don't think it gives credit to some of the drawings. Like I've seen some people do drawings, like mm. axonometric drawings that are like exploded. And these are, and it's, I feel like it's not the place for that because I think you undermine how much <laughs> information is actually loaded in these, um, in these sort of visual elements. So I think, but seeing sort of snippets of what almost photo Photo, uh, photogenic, I think it was mm. photo, photo, almost photogenic graphics kind of um, uh, create sort of like a conversation starter. But I guess it also, uh, in one way or another, I think it just makes things a lot more sort of easier for people to understand what kind of page it's for. But mm. for me personally, I don't feel like the conversation that I want to be, you know, talking about is how beautiful an image looks or how beautiful someone's design work can be because I think we we have enough of that on um <laughs> I mean in in sort of in, in on Instagram anyway so I mean using mm. I feel like I, I've started to use it just as a way to again, again to kind of create engagement on these discussions that I do end up having on on the blog because um I'm playing around with graphics at the same time I'm upskilling myself and sort of putting yeah, into p- putting into practice what I'm sort of <laughs> what i putting into practice what I talk about um, in a way that kind of really is a bit more raw. And like, I don't know, when I look at the graphics that I initially started with and then I look at sort of the most recent, it's like, it's a very big difference and you kind of see that jump. And I think just mm. constantly, I'm, I'm constantly learning to use different things to kind of improve sort of the visual element of it. But I don't want to get too carried away in that because uh, yeah, I, th- I think you you can get carried away in the, that sort of visual because architecture is visual. So, I mean, yeah. Well, it's visual, but the, the the point is, is context, isn't it? And, that, and that's yeah. what you're on about. And yeah. uh, it you're, you're on to an interesting point because that's why I think the architectural experiment um, on Instagram, yeah, that is the battle. I think yours is going to it's almost going to be a bit slower at the start, isn't it? Because yeah. I think uh, Instagram is designed, you know, by the, the algorithms for yeah. sexy images because it's like, oh, people pay attention to that, and suddenly then the algorithm gravitates towards that image. It gets yeah. boosted. It goes to other people. So um, what you're on about is, and I still think it works. The point is, is 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 um, people who are interested in that content, it's gonna, it, they're gonna actively seek with it. They get, the, the engagement's gonna be longer. That's the beauty of what you're talking yeah. about. Is because when you find people with the same kind of passion as yeah. what you're interested in, then the, there's much more substance in the conversation. It's longer. It is, the thing yeah. is, is the thing is that people who are kind of want a little bit of click you want to click through and one of my tutors almost used to call it he used to call it architecture porn where it's kind of like <laughs> i've totally heard like, this one before <laughs> yeah because it's like oh yeah you know almost like coffee you know, what you imagine on the coffee table it's like yeah it looks nice you know when you're in the dentist and you kind of flick through and you're like oh yeah i kind of like that and then you're done with it uh, i think that's um i think that kind of is the hard thing of instagram there's so many there's there's so many spaces for there's so many different interesting movements so you're kind of talking about the thesis you're talking about projects you're talking about opinion pieces and yeah. and in essence journalism or yeah. kind of i i like that it's just so much different stuff there's so much out there and so you've currently got the architectural experiment do you think now that when you get a job and now we're talking about this is is it in essence an experiment and you're happy to see where it goes or do you do you have an end goal at all um oh well, I, I never really you, out there. <laughs> you caught me uh, you caught me off guard uh, <laughs> yeah um, no, I, d- I definitely think it's something I'm going to continue because uh, I feel like m- uh, my journey into architecture has just started. It hasn't sort of, yeah, it's, it's just started. So I'm not, this isn't, this is almost just like the beginning. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it's just, I mean, because I, I, I really just want to connect with architecture in a way that kind of is just real and raw because, I mean, it's it's very easy to kind of compare yourself to kind of some of the, uh, the, the almost perfect uh perfect image of sort of what um, architects can create and students can create and we can get carried away in sort of this perfect image that we don't end up uh, seeing the people who are kind of you know building brick by brick their Mm. kind of their work in a way because no one kind of starts with perfect drawings with perfect content but I think just having that space to kind of see the conversation uh, kind of take its own sort of 
uh, its own route in a way that kind of like I remember when I'm sort of thinking about this I remember there was one person sort of on Instagram who reached out and it was I did a piece on failure and because for me that was like I think it was at the end of sort of second year second year for me was like the most challenging um, transition uh, during sort of the three years and a person so I wrote an article based on sort of that stigma around failure and how like it's it shouldn't be as much of a stigma. Or I think it's a mental it's a mental thing. And someone reached out to me and was like, um, I really sort of appreciate that you talked about this because I just went through something very similar. And so you see mm. that kind of connection mm. with that's what keeps me going, even if it's just like one as long as I'm helping out one person, um, because we're all sort of on these journeys. So I, I want to be able to document this journey because I, I genuinely enjoy it when I see someone start off uh, the beginning of their career and then sort of continues. And, you know, we don't know sort of what kind of success they'll get to or where the next step is, but just being able to document and to see and to kind of be part of the journey, I guess, is what I want. Um, I want people to be able to sort of see, but also, uh, I mean, because uh, I have a goal in mind that I do want to become an architect in the near future but that journey mm. isn't going to be as sort of straight cut as I imagined it to be or that, that's why I don't for most of the articles I write I don't end up going back to any of the first ones because I feel like that was sort of in the moment where sort of I was mentally um and sort of in the architectural sort of skills that I did have then and the, the insights that I had then and I think just having s- having a space where people can see that it wasn't all perfect to begin with. It wasn't all pretty to begin with. Um, so I, I'm definitely, it's something definitely that I'm going to continue. In fact, it's going to feel like a bit more valid, just me in my head. It might not be sort of <laughs> like a external thing, but just me in my head, it's going to be more valid that it was worth sharing these because someone out there is going to, is going to understand, um, or at least resonate with some of the, the struggles or the things that they wish they had known back then that, you know, they, they can now sort of see that it was worth sort of the struggle to begin with because no, no journey I feel like is a straight sort of linear progression. It's always sort of like there's bump, there's peaks and there's troughs. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think, you know, it's really interesting you talk about that because I, I used to do it sometimes where you look back at some work and I'd, I'd be like, oh, gosh, oh. I, I, I've, it, this one's bad. This one, uh, this one's not the best, this one. And sometimes I look back now and I've got a bit more – uh, I, I feel some of the stuff that when I look back, I'm happy with it. And so there was an interesting thing I read uh, from. So there's a there's a musician called Trent Reznor. He found he founded a band called Nine Inch Nails. There's a big industrial band. Point is though, he made this really good quote, and he's just like, look, I look some back on some of the records, and I kind of feel like I passed them, I've, I've changed them, but. I'm okay with them because at the time frame, they were very honest to who I was and where I was at. And and in that sense, they're quite sincere. And I think it's the same thing which you can apply to your work or that's what I'm yeah. happy with. So I look back and I go, do you know what? That's what I believed in at the time. I worked really hard on it. It came from the heart. So I'm happy with it. It yeah. doesn't as maybe the renderings a bit dated <laughs> now, and but the message was there, or it was true to who I was at that time. Of course, and yeah. and and to go back to you on about with failures. Well, I failed loads of times. I mean, I've had a business which was is completely gone now it was really successful mm-hmm. um turned over a lot of money at the time and then it all went away and it was really emotional stressful uh, for a lot of various reasons and in some senses nearly killed me but i learned so much of that from now and so even yeah. with all the pain all the mistakes i still wouldn't change things and actually that Absolutely. failure and a bunch of failures led to this opportunity and then and uh, there's even stuff that I do on a day to day where I get things wrong. You know, I get things That's wrong true. all the time. And and I think that actually making mistakes or maybe to phrase it for this is actually making mistakes is one thing, but it's about being out there and contributing stuff which isn't perfect. But course, I think yeah. yeah, what I like about the architectural experiment and the kind of the vibe of the social and a few other things as well is that 
participate in is what's important. And I think if it comes from an honest, humble place where you you don't need to know all the answers, but if you're there yeah. and, and, and you're respectful, then uh, the reality is you will gain an audience and people will be interested. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that feel the same. So Of course, yeah. So I kind of feel like it's an uplifting tone to this. I want people to check out okay. the architectural experiment. So, Nilda, if they don't, if this is the first time they've ever heard of yourself and what you're up to, yes. where is the best place to find, uh, reach out to maybe engage with the, read the architectural experiment and as well say hello to you? Where's the best places to find you? Um, so I'm, I'm usually uh, on Instagram with sort of the same handle, the architectural experiment, um, mm-hmm. but also on the website, sort of www.thearchitecturalexperiment.com. Um, uh, That's where okay. usually um, all the content's sort of there, but I, I'm easily reachable sort of through Instagram because as we all know, we are on there for far too long that we need to be, but, mm. <laughs> um, but I'm always there and yeah, feel free to check out any of the stuff, any feedback, any sort of discussions, in, engagement um, on anything that you, you find interesting would be sort of greatly um, appreciated and greatly encouraged. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Brilliant. It's really good to have you on the architectural social as well. We will keep um, – neg- oh, yeah, next time you post, right, you got to post on there because I keep missing them. You promise me? <laughs> I will. We, <laughs> I yeah. will. In the main area, we don't we don't need a group. It's posted in the main area. I will. Yeah? I will. I'll, I'll try not to be as precious about. Pink, pinky <laughs> promise. You better, otherwise I'm going to watch you. You promise? I'm going to go. I'm going to get the horn out. If, you, if it doesn't go on, I'm going to go. No, I, I, I will. I will. I definitely will. I think. I think that's just like it's just me being a bit precious about everything that I need to oh, kind no, of let like, go. I'm just, te- I'm just teasing you on no. the spot now because we're oh, no, no, there. like even like even for like the CV stuff, it was. Like the amount of like rush that I was sort of getting it was like, oh my Ooh. god, what have I done? Have I done the right file? The, yeah, it's always I just kind of have to put it out there and kind of just deal with it as it is, um, and not kind of be fixated on sort of the 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 improvement piece, rather just kind of use that as a beginning point. That will come with time. I yeah. think the, the 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 more you do architecture, the more you practice, the more you write, the more you you're a guitar, you play guitar, everything. It's like that muscle memory concept. Over time, yeah. you 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 get better. And I think in architecture, you develop tastes, and that comes over time. And that comes from doing stuff that you bang out, which is good, and some stuff that's not. I mean, I tell you what, the the graphic I did for the last one, I, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna tweak it because. Every time I look at it at the moment, so I'm on about like the thumbnail. For okay. the last architecture. I don't like it. And I, I banged it out in three minutes because I was in a rush. And I think I'm going to change it. <laughs> at the same time, though, I just think, do you know what? Maybe I, the next one should be, should be better. Yeah. Or maybe but... it's okay. It's not perfect. And maybe that's the point. But... And on that note, I love the architectural experiment. Thank Keep you. experimenting. Thanks. Keep writing letters. Uh, <laughs> two past selves and we'll see <laughs> see how that goes as well uh, i can't wait to see more and more of what you do i hope everyone checks out the architectural experiment.com and checks you out on instagram it what a great great uh what a great uh journal uh, thank, what a great insight what you. a great <laughs> experiment there you go thank you very much <laughs> thanks all right all right thank you so much nilda thank you. speak to you soon bye thank you bye bye